Hi, I'm Charlie, CookingSecretsForMen.com, and we're here with another episode of Cooking with Milwaukee Community Leaders, and I'm very pleased to have as my guest today, Tanya Anderson. Tanya? Hello, Charlie. Good to see you. Thanks you for coming. Well. Very early on a Saturday morning. <laughs> right. A little earlier than we normally do, but <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make two. Yes. Um, so uh, we'll talk about your, your work in the community um, a little bit later, but I wanted to start at the beginning, okay. um, or usually do. So uh, you were born and you grew up here in Milwaukee. I did. Went to Rufus King High. Yes. And then on to college, you went to the Marquette, mm -hmm. and then also the MATC, which is Milwaukee Area Technical College. Right. Um, so talk a little bit about that journey from your formative years through college and where you were hoping that it might take a career. Oh, sure. Well, uh, Rufus King, I just, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was in high school and I actually graduated at 16. Ooh. So I was just following instruction. Uh -huh. um, I was always good at math. Mm -hmm. okay. So my mom directed me to Marquette to study business mm -hmm. and I did that. I didn't want to work in corporate America. I found out after working in corporate America in college. Right. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. Just my spirit has led me that way. Mm -hmm. So after Marquette, I went to MATC in order to acquire my cosmetology license. Okay. I opened a hair salon. Um, I love doing hair, but I didn't like the long hours. Sure. And then I found out about network marketing and went in that direction. Okay. So let's talk about you. So you did have a couple of... Um, jobs, careers, mm -hmm. however you want to phrase it, between um, college and um, getting into the networking aspect. Right. So you talked about any others besides the cosmetology? Yes, I worked at Time Insurance Company. Uh -huh. Do you remember that? No. It was on uh, Well Street. And so I worked there for seven years. Uh -huh. And I just didn't like the corporate environment. What were you doing? I was doing a little bit of everything. Okay. So, um, um, th let's talk a little bit about the, the networking because I think that um, goes right into both uh, what you were doing then and then how what you're doing now. So mm -hmm. you were um, president of the Avon Ohio Business Networking International, right? which is, at the time or it is mm -hmm. the largest networking organization in the world. Right. Okay. And then, um, then you had your own networking operation called Freedom Fighters. Mm -hmm. That's still in effect. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 does, how often does it meet? Once a week. All right. So why don't you talk a little bit about that? Okay. So we have a core group of individuals. I call them my tribe. Uh -huh. And we just share information that will help ourselves and the community. Uh -huh. um, so we have people from all walks of life, from mm -hmm. the financial sector, from health, uh, you name it. And we just figure out what projects we're all working on and then determine how we can best help facilitate the growth of each other's projects. So is this a Zoom or is this in person? Zoom. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're, um, is it local or is it regional national. or national? Okay. So you're talking to people all over the country. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and most recently, and I think where you and I kind of got... To, to under or to get together was on your your work that you're currently doing which is um, working with um, people with special needs and the elderly and trying to find to help them um, with solutions to issues to so talk a little bit about that sure I have a son he's 30 uh -huh. and he's special needs okay. so he was born with a cognitive learning disorder and then later on diagnosed with schizophrenia uh -huh. um, my mom is 83. And she, when I moved here a couple years ago, was totally disabled. But she since has had hip replacement uh -huh. uh, surgery, so she's doing a lot better. But just because of my personal circumstances, I need to create solutions. Because sure. I find that the uh, special needs community that my son would fall within, there's really not a lot of resources that I like uh -huh. that are available to help him to continuously grow throughout his entire life. And so, as it relates to the elderly, uh, the care, the um, available resources for them as well, I, I'm not real thrilled about. So, I'm working with some nonprofit organizations uh -huh. to see if we can create some solutions. Okay. Um, so that when I'm no longer here, I'm, I have a placement for my son and others who fall in that category. So, it, 
I kind of glossed over one thing was that, that you're with success training and you're a certified trainer mm -hmm. working with high school kids, community colleges, HBCUs. Mm -hmm. um, so that is interesting to me. It's one of the things, I think I was mentioning, I do some work in, in MPS. Yes. One of the things we do is we train or try to train kids on interviewing skills. Right. And, you know, look in the eye, mm -hmm. shake hands, that type of thing. And the, the, <laughs> the soft skills are sorely lacking, not just in MPS, but I would say with yes. the youth of America. <laughs> I agree. Um, yes. So, you know, it's it, trying to impart to them some of these things that are important. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about that because I know that's an important um, part of working within the community. It is. So a couple of years ago, I was introduced to the CEO of Success Training Institute, and I just thought it was a phenomenal platform mm -hmm. because it's not only for teenagers or preteens, it's for adults as well mm -hmm. um, because soft skills are needed in everything we do. Sure. Um, and as you stated, the generation of today is sorely lacking in that department. Well, and if you can't find it on your phone, it's hard to, you know. <laughs> I know. Their, their posture is this. Right, yeah. And so I just, when I see a need, I like to fill it. And so I just believe in the fact that with MPS and Marcus Hines, who's my significant mm -hmm. other, right. we are now looking for solutions. Um, and so I'm now a vendor with MPS, and I'll be going mm -hmm. in and teaching soft skills and enrolling hundreds of students into our platform for free uh -huh. so they can have access for an entire year for hundreds of soft skills categories um, so they can That's great. prepare themselves for their future and not be limited based upon the sorely lacking um, soft skills that are apparent. Yeah, it's, it, it, I do um, uh, interview training with high school kids and I went to the University of Maryland to do with, the, with their business school there. And the difference between the two mm -hmm. is so striking that the kids in the business school and college are very well prepared. They've, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they've rehearsed. They uh, know what, where high points to hit, blah, blah, the, the high school kids, they are kind of lost. Right. And so skills like this are very important mm -hmm. um, to help our the youths of America's, <laughs> <laughs> the youths. Right. Um, so you talked a little bit about your family. So this, um, uh, they're here in Milwaukee? They are. Okay. Mm -hmm. And everyone's uh, moving forward in a positive way. Yes. My mom, since I moved back, she lost 40 pounds Ooh. because I started gearing her in a different direction in terms of her diet. Well, that, that falls right into why we're, uh, what we're cooking today. Mm -hmm. So um, we talked in the past about what we would do and right. how we would cook. Mm -hmm. um, I had in my mind that I really wanted to do this Tostoni nacho dish from a Nochi restaurant here in, um, in Milwaukee mm -hmm. and in, in the suburbs. And I was just taken by it because I've had it there. And it was just great. It was the tostoni, fresh tostonis, and then sure. ground beef, and you know all the nacho stuff on time. And you suggested, <laughs> well, let's make it um, vegan. And I uh -huh. said, yeah, okay, <laughs> right. So, um, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about what's in the vegan? part of the uh, mm -hmm. the meat substitute. Sure, so it's a walnut meat substitute. Uh -huh. So you take walnuts, sun-dried tomatoes, and spices, mm -hmm. and you create somewhat of a crumble uh -huh. that resembles ground beef. Okay. And that's what we're going to do instead of the meat. All right, so we're going to we're we're going to go over and um, we've, we've done some prep work. Mm -hmm. So we have to fry the plantains, which I learned how to do from my good friend Ricardo Diaz, who was here and and showed us how to do both uh, green plantains, which are the for tostones, mm -hmm. and then the, the really ripe ones are for the maduros. Um, so, what's your? Do you have a culinary background? Do you have? I don't. Okay, so you've just you've come across this as a way for um, people to live a more healthy life. Absolutely, a family member of mine years ago was diagnosed with something, and he needed to take prednisone for uh -huh. it. And for 10 years, he was taking the prednisone. So his weight gain became more and more mm -hmm. and just different organs that we were concerned with. Sure. And so we started researching and found out about alkaline food. 
and it's food that heals the body. So now this is just I've been, become creative right. with the you know alkaline dishes. Well, I like to say that I'm a, a professional eater and an amateur <laughs> chef. So that would describe me. Right. So if we're we're not professionals, <laughs> no. but we are creative. We like to right. put things together that are mm -hmm. healthy, that are interesting. Um, you're obviously eating more healthily than I am, <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, uh, so we're going to make these um, uh, tostoni nachos with a um, vegan component. And I'm going to put cheese on mine, okay. so um, I'm not going to put cheese on Tanya's. So uh, we're no. going to have, have a split mm -hmm. on that. But um, I, I, w I do want to. You came with a chef's coat on. I did. But I, I do have a, an apron for you. Oh yeah. For you to put on so Thank you don't you. get your. Your Absolutely, I appreciate it. So give us a chance to uh, set up back here. We're going to get the uh, tostones going, and then we'll uh, put the nachos together, and then I think we have to eat them. I'll be glad to. All right. So it's, All it's, right. it's breakfast time here, so we're having tostoni nachos for, for breakfast. breakfast. So that's, uh, that'll be a breakfast of champions. Right, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so we'll be right back. All right, well, Tanya has her apron on, and she's ready. Yes. So we have some plantains there that have been um, sitting in salted water and we'll put them in here. We'll, they'll fry twice. So we fry them and then we take them out and smash them and then we fry them again. So we'll turn these to get them on both sides while we're doing this. So um, and we also have some black beans back here. We're going to go on our nachos, and then we've got a lot of other flavors over here. We'll get to those when we put the entire nacho together. So we'll go ahead and uh, turn these, and then we'll, we'll take them out and smash them. All right. All right, I think we're ready to do this one. This is my helping. Yes. I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> hold you. the plate. Any help so is welcome. Tanya can do it. So we're going to take these out. I'm going to let them cool for a minute. Mm -hmm. And then we will smash them and then we will fry them again. Okay. All right, so Tanya's going to go ahead and smash the. Now, this is my first time smashing. So you I just, just press it. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to smash it. You just <laughs> make it around. Just make it round. Oh, okay. Maybe a little. Less smashing. A little thicker. Okay. But. Okay. That'll be yours. Okay. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Okay. And that's right. about the right size you want. We want to want for the nachos anyway. Okay, got it. So, all right. So you don't need to see us smashing. So we're going to smash these, and then we're going to once we're finished that, we're going to put them back in and fry them a second time. All right. So Tanya has smashed them, and we're putting a little salt on. Just a little. All right. Um, give them flavor. So we're going to put them back in. To the oil. So we can wash that. Turn oil up back up again. All right. Just be careful. You don't want to spray. So here, let me help again. I'm a... Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. All right. So these are going to fry for um, each for you know about a minute or two because they're they're pretty well done. We're just trying to get a little burned, a little brown on them. A little crispy All right. texture. Mm -hmm. So once we, we get them ready to roll, we'll be back and we'll put together our nachos. Awesome. All right, so they've fried up nicely. And so we're going to let them drain for just a minute. And then we're going to come over here and we've got all kinds of fun stuff. We've got uh, tomatoes, there's our um, jalapenos there, we've got a little sriracha sauce, uh, avocado, cilantro, green onions, little cheese for me, and then here's our protein substitute that we'll be using. All right. All set. So we'll be just back in just a second. All right, we're ready to put it together. So okay. we've got our tostones. So Tanya, well, I, just do. I don't think you need your glove anymore. Okay. So. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I just had surgery last year on this hand, so uh -huh. I, uh, I'm protective of it. Gotcha. All right, so we're going to put 
layer of Tostones on the bottom, just like we would chips. Yeah. And yeah, I spread we'll that around. Half and half. You get the more the. Because I'm a dainty eater. Yes. <laughs> Give me the most. So we're gonna put the beans on first. Oh, there's that blue spoon right to your right. Okay. All right, so we got some black beans that we've heated. And she's, Tanya has made sure that no cheese will touch her side of the... No, no cheese. No non-vegan portions of food. So we get, get some beans. And then we'll put the meat substitute. This is the uh -huh. walnut meat. Uh -huh. Did you like it? Did you show it to the... It's very good. Yeah, it's very good. I tested it and... It works. The spices are good. Um, it's got some ancho chili, some paprika. I'm not familiar with tamari. Is that tamarind sauce? It's like a soy sauce. Okay. Mm -hmm. And coriander and cumin and a little salt. So <laughs> it it's delicious. And now the fun part. Now we the get fun to put all part. the yes. all the uh, accoutrement. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with how about some avocado? Works for me. Yes, this is easy. Alright. And we'll have all extra stuff too if people want to add, or if it's just people, it's just me and Tanya. So <laughs> right. if we want to add more, we'll, we'll, we'll come back. All right. All right, some nice fresh top tomatoes yes. from my garden at Metro Market. <laughs> I like your garden. I've been there. <laughs> it's a great garden. There's some scallions. All right. mm. Yes, this is this is shaping up as an excellent high protein breakfast. Yes, it is. Now you can you can give me a few just jalapenos. A few? Okay. I mean, I'll eat them. I just will you? Know, okay. I don't want. Is that okay? Maybe a couple more down this end. There right, you go. There. All right. Got to balance everything out. That's right. Make it look pretty. Mm-hmm. All right. Then. And some cilantro. Cilantro. That's my. I love cilantro. Latin friends say cilantro. Cilantro. All right. And then we're left. So the little cheese on mine. Okay. And then we'll put the sauce on at the at the table. Okay. We've got a little um, the sriracha sauce. All right, so I'm ready. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> yours, yours looks a little naked with that cheese on it, That's but I, okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, All right. we're going to take this over, and then we'll be right back. All right. All right, here we are. Here we are. I'm excited. Me too. So, Tanya, tell us a little bit about what we have here. Okay, so we have the Testonis right at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then we have the walnut meat, which is our protein, vegan, substitute for ground beef. We have chopped tomatoes, we have avocado, cilantro, and we have jalapeno, scallions, and then you have cheese on yours. I do have cheese on mine and <laughs> made a little sriracha sauce to put on top. Yes. So, all right. We're going to well, dig in? The guest goes first. All right. I can't wait. I need two things here, I think. All right. There we go. See, this is me helping again. Yeah. He's a big help. <laughs> That's what my wife says. They are a big help. <laughs> All right. All right. You're, you so you are a dainty eater. Just on camera. Okay. <laughs> over here. And you want any sauce? No, thank you. Okay. Then all the sauce for me. Yes. All right. I'm very generous. You are. All right. Ready? Oh, I need to Get sauce it up. Drizzle a little sauce. This is not the exact sauce that Nochi uses, but it was close enough. So all right. it's my secret recipe of. Uh, Mayonnaise, sour cream, and sriracha. Ah, here we go. All right, let's dig in. All right. And this is a 
this is healthy it was much healthier as Tanya was mentioned she cooks sometimes cooks plantains in the air fryer so mm -hmm. probably could have done that very good delicious the meat of uh, the meat the protein you you can't tell the difference and it has a nice flavor to it because of the spices involved mm -hmm. I love sun-dried tomatoes all right it's all about texture and flavor mm -hmm. It just works. Mm -hmm. mm. Very good. I'm going to put a little lime on mine. Tanya already put lime on hers. Yeah, I did. All right. Man. I love that I've been doing this show now for almost a year, and I love the concept. It's is I get to talk to people who are working in the community trying to make our city a better place. Mm -hmm. They cook. A great meal for me. I get to eat it, and you get an apron. Right. So that's, I love it. That's how we. That's how we. That's how we roll here. <laughs> All right. Can't beat it. One more bite. Bon appetit. Mm. Probably did not need the cheese. See. You're right. right. You're right. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have missed it. But the lime, I think, adds a. Uh, a little bit of um, the acid and context or mm -hmm. contrast to that's great. It ties so, it all together. Well, Tanya, thank you so thanks much. Thanks for, for having me. Well, thanks for coming. It's been I a appreciate pleasure. It. I hope I can come back sometime. Absolutely. Right. Um, say hi to uh, Marcus. I will. Coach Hines out uh, at Vincent High School. Mm -hmm. um, there's a great story that I could, I'm not going to tell <laughs> about um, going to see Coach Vincent and, and get a sweatshirt for my good friend George Vincent in Cincinnati. Um, because it's too long, and he, um, anyway, no one would care. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> only Marcus would right. care. Right, <laughs> it's, it's a great start. All right, so mm -hmm. thanks so much. We appreciate Thank everyone's uh, support. Please like and subscribe. Um, I have multiple videos on our site for other community leaders that we've talked to. We'll have more coming up in the future. We do appreciate Tanya coming out on a early on a Saturday morning, and it, it is kind of early. Um, not too early to eat good food. But, not at all. Never. Uh, so as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.